Hi guys! Welcome back. Um, today we're doing that shave, the one with a single edge old gem razor. Um, just got this package of blades. At first I had no idea how to <laughs> open it, but well, it's fairly easy. Just like push the blade out, grab it and pull it out. Um, so I'm going to use, have to open the, the little box, this old gem, gem, gem style eraser. Um, I would say it's in pretty great condition. I haven't done anything with it. Um, there's some nice shine to it. Um, there's no uh, no part that's broken as far as I can see. Open up it up like that. To be fair, guys, I have never used a razor like this. Um, so first off, I am going to have to try and insert a blade to it. Looks fairly easy. I mean, I'll probably just put it here and then, yeah, the lid goes down and then we have a nice little edge there. Um, I am not sure if this is um, something I call open comb or, or not. I mean, it's, it's a little bit open. Um, as I said, I've never used one of these before. I felt the need to use some pre-shave oil today. Um, been ages since I did that, but my skin was a little bit irritated or, or dry at least. Um, feels better now with some oil on it. I'm going to use um, the Trafalgar soap from Phoenix and Bow. It's got a nice fresh scent to it. Mm. Some green birch, um, samphire, North Sea. Uh, sorry guys, <laughs> I can't really describe it. It does smell kind of nice. So that's what we are going to use. Also, we are putting this brush to use. I'm not sure if you've seen it. I don't think I put it up here on YouTube. It's my brush that I won from Leo, uh, Leo Freelot or something like that. Sorry, my name pronouncing is pretty crap. Uh, you have to leave with that. Uh, it's the first brush he ever turned in Ebonite, 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 something like that. Some kind of volcano. Vulcanized, vulcanized uh, rubber, I think. It's, like, it's really, really great. Mm. It's fitted with with a nice 70% badger and 30% boar uh, nut. I think it's 26 millimeter, 28. I have no idea actually. Um, handle is shaped. Um, has shaped like the classic Simpsons M7 handle. Never used uh, an M7 brush. I have no idea. Not sure if I've seen one. I'm just telling you what I've been told <laughs> by others. Um, that's one of the things that's pretty pretty awesome with this community. Um, yeah, so uh, I like when the brush is a little bit harder um, with it when it got a nice, a real nice, you know, when it's not too soft, it, it stands up, stands up easy. I really enjoy that. Um, this one and, and my my brush from Panther Ray where there is 
that has a you know horse badger nut um, these two are really awesome both of them probably should have wet my face a little bit before doing this but it should be fine Um, uh, the nut comes from a company in Canada, I think. Um, AP Shave Co. or Shave Company or Shave Co. or something like that. Shave Co. Um, I would kind of pronounce it that way I'm pretty sure I'm wrong because you know I'm pretty good at, at that so first use uh, with this S single edge SE blade uh, razor it's gonna be great fun to try I have seen like two videos uh, of guys using a razor similar to, to my mine and honestly I have no idea um, on how to, to find the right angle and such I just hope that I won't have to scare all the kids at work to death tomorrow because that wouldn't be fun right it's not Halloween yet so so I'm kind of looking to add just clean shave but I have no idea um, it's pretty cool actually I like this style um, yeah, so it's a long time since I used uh, a razor that's not not a straight. It does cut some hair, I think. I have no idea. I might might be. I might be doing it wrong because it doesn't feel like it I mean touch the touch the skin. Oh well. We will see. It does sound like it and it's pretty clean. Nice. Hmm. Sorry guys for moving around like that. I know the the light isn't the best and I mean when I move around it's even worse. Probably we should just stop moving the razor as well and just stand completely still. Ah. What would be the point? Kind of feel like like the blade is flexing a little bit. I'm not sure. Mm. It's got a pretty big blade exposure. I'm not sure if you can see it. But hey, guys, it shaves. I have no idea, but it feels like it's made <laughs> smart. Shaves really, really smooth and really close. Wow. 
Wow. That actually, that, that's actually good. Um, I haven't been rinsing, I mean, the, my razors in a while. The straight razors I only wipe on a towel. But this one, it feels better to just rinse it under some, some hot or just warm water. Hmm. I mean, it sure does feel like the blades is like moving a lot, but I don't think it is. And I'm not sure if it's a good or bad thing, but at the moment it feels like it's a good thing. Wow, this eraser is actually really good. I didn't, I didn't, didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I actually do. Um, I do enjoy this soap as well. I have mentioned it before. I do enjoy the performance that all of the soaps um, that Phoenix and Bao makes is great. Mm. And to be fair, um, I think it's Carrie that has made me want to try one of the single edge razors. I think so. Wow, that's, that's sweet. I think it's pretty clean for the first pass. Um, I mean, it could have been a little bit cleaner, I think, but it, it, it fits good. So we jump straight to the second pass uh, and hopefully we got a nice, nice, nice clean shave. Mm. And if I don't get a nice clean shave, then it's probably the razor's fault. Because I'm fucking perfect. Or not. One sec second I'm perfect, the other second I'm not that perfect. Probably could add some more water. Could be too much water. This is one of the trickiest parts for me. I'm never really sure if it's too much or too little water. We add some water and something happens, but I'm not sure it's a good thing that happens. No, probably was. Yeah, sure was enough water in it, mm. but it's a decent ladder anyway, so, or could I add some more water? Uh, we skip that part right now. Um, yeah, so let's go for a second pass.
I'm not sure you could hear this, but it does sound really nice. Mm. And it does feel really nice as well. Mm. Here's. Mm. have some kind of trouble finding the right angle mm. to hold the razor. But it's smooth and you can see here that I got some blood. Now I will scare the kids with at work. Nice. Sweet. Um, I'm just gonna add some soap. Uh, and then we will see what happens. I can do the rest part as well. That's, that's nasty. Nice little cut there. This part doesn't feel good. And then I won't continue doing... I will not continue going against the grain there. It doesn't feel good. I'm scared I'm gonna cut myself like I did there, so... Call me a pussy if you want to. That guy's me shaving with a single edge razor. I'm not 100% satisfied with this result. Uh, I had a really good first pass. The second one was a little bit rough right here. And that's a spot where I have had some troubles before, so that's nothing new. Um, I'm going to use the matching of the shave lotion. Um, I think it's a pretty good one. Probably should have, you know, rinsed my face before. But. Screw that. So that's that for tonight, guys. Hopefully, we can, you can see another video with me shaving with a gem razor, not cutting myself. 
or at least doing it against the grain all the way. Yeah, have a good one. See you.